好啦，咁樣嚟，嚟嚟，收起。Hello everyone and welcome back to another beekeeping video. Having a hive is an amazing thing, but sometimes it just doesn't work out or maybe you have to move house or just downsize your apiary. But how do you move a busy beehive? What happens to all of the bees? Well, some friends of ours, they needed to move a beehive and they invited us along to go and help. So naturally, I thought that I would film it for you. The thing is, moving a beehive you have to be calm, it has to be quick, and you need to keep things as stress-free as possible. So I decided to film what I could, but instead I'm going to talk you through it now, and I hope you enjoy it. So the best time to move a hive is at night, preferably when the weather is cool, uh, windy and drizzly, the worse conditions the better, because the bees absolutely hate all of this, which means they're going to be safely tucked up inside the hive, keeping warm and cosy, and they won't be out foraging, and obviously we want to move as many of the bees as possible. So you can see here that there were only a couple of bees hanging around near the entrance. So we waited for the very last one to go back into the beehive before we started the move. The first thing to do is cover up the entrances to the hive. And for that, we just used a soft, squishy foam. And this isn't going to harm the bees at all. And we just put it into all of the different gaps and entrances. And then we held it securely in place with gaffer tape that we ended up wrapping around the whole hive just so that absolutely nothing Thing budged. Hives are just boxes piled on top of each other, so we needed to make sure they weren't going to slip around or move when the hive was um, on the back of a car. So we used some ratchet straps around the hive in both directions just to hold everything together so that nothing slipped out of place. The next thing we did was to get some cellophane or cling film, surround wrap, whatever you want to call it, and we wrapped it all the way around the hive. We completely covered it. And this is just another layer of protection to hold everything together and keep the bees in. But this is also another reason for moving the bees when it's cooler, because wrapping the hive up like this is going to raise the temperature inside the hive and you don't want your bees to dehydrate. So a couple more ratchet straps later, just to make sure the cling film was really secure. And we loaded the hive into a trolley. Now we got the car as close as we possibly could to the hive and eventually we just lifted it onto the back of the truck where we then put it in the corner and just use some bungee cords to just hold it in place. And then we actually surrounded it with a whole bunch of extra beekeeping gear just to keep it steady. And then we were ready to go. Um, this was a little bit scary just watching the beehive um, because we actually went in convoy. So I was sat making sure that nothing was happening and the hive was safe. It was fine. We only had to go about three miles, so it wasn't really a problem. But then this is us at the hive's new home. Um, we loaded everything off the truck and got it all out of the way so we had a nice clear path and then we just lifted the hive up which is actually pretty heavy um onto a trolley and this time we actually put a piece of mdf on the trolley so the hive sat on it um and that made things so much easier um we then had a bit of a bumpy trip over the grass to the bees new home and it was a bit of a tight squeeze through the gate i didn't think we were going to make it but we were okay and then we finally put them down on this like level area that had already been prepared so we didn't have to fuss around doing that there and then. Now this was the exciting slash potentially dangerous bit. We left the bees to rest for about 15 minutes or so. We just didn't bother them so we just let everything just be still. Um, and then we started to strip off the cling film and take off the ratchet straps. So if we took the foam straight off and just let the bees who are bound to be a little bit stressed out and explore, they're likely to be really confused and there is a huge risk of swarming. So the way we handled this was to get large handfuls of grass or just you could get any plantation that's near their new home. And we used this and it's called cow's parsley. And what we did was we took the foam off and immediately we held the cow's parsley to the entrance of the hive. And this means that when they go to exit, they get this overwhelming hit of the smell of their new home and it kind of stops them in their tracks. So instead of leaving the hive and panicking, they actually start to reorientate themselves and just suss things out a little bit. 
It was a little bit intimidating seeing the bees suddenly all fly out of the hive, but I think this was more because we didn't know how they were going to react more than anything else. But actually, the cow's parsley worked so well, and it didn't take long at all for them to calm down and actually just slowly go back into the hive again, so everything was fine. After holding the cow's parsley there for about 10 minutes and everything had calmed down, the bees had calmed down, we were nice and calm, and we made a little platform out of bricks just in front of the hive so that we could rest the plants there instead of holding them there all night. And this was just to keep the scent around because we didn't just want to abruptly take it away in case it panicked them. Um, this was by no means blocking the entrance at all. They could still get in and out if they wanted. We just wanted to leave it there because they seemed to be, they seemed to quite like it. And then we decided to take it off in the morning. And that was that really, that was one hive successfully moved. And just so you know, the bees have settled in fine. They didn't have any issues. There hasn't been any swarming at all. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing how you move a busy beehive. Make sure you subscribe for more beekeeping videos. Stay curious and I'll see you soon. Bye.